We actually have the technology today where we don't have to make cars with red rear lights anymore. Hi, I'm Steve and you're watching Car Simplified. As far back as I can remember and probably as far back as you can remember too, cars have always had red rear lights. Now I'm not talking about red versus some other different color today. Red has a lot of psychology to it and we can get into that in another video. But today we're talking about red versus no color at all. For decades, cars have used incandescent bulbs like these to light up pretty much anything you can imagine in a car, including anything in the rear lights. Bulbs like this have a filament inside of them and they emit a off-white kind of orangey yellow color. So in order to get red for brake lights or taillights, you would have to pass that light through a red filter that can take the form of a coating over the bulb like they have done with a lot of turn signal bulbs. Although bulbs with red coatings do exist, they never really caught on the way that amber bulbs did. Most manufacturers instead decided that the red filter for these lights should be the light assembly itself. This resulted in the brake light, the tail light, and in North America, the turn signal sometimes to be tinted red. Basically, all of that happened because the filament inside one of these bulbs couldn't just emit a red light, so it had to be filtered somewhere along the process. Nowadays, many manufacturers are shifting towards using LEDs instead of incandescent bulbs, and there's a lot of aftermarket support for switching your incandescent bulbs over to LEDs. Among the many advantages that LEDs have, the most important for this topic is that they can actually emit a different color light red being one of them. Light emitting diodes can actually be designed from the start with a color in mind instead of filtering the color after the fact. Put more simply, with an incandescent bulb, you have one color and then you filter it with your lens. Whereas if you have an LED, you have whatever color you want here and then you have a clear lens. This opens up design possibilities that hardly any manufacturers are taking advantage of. For too long, we've looked at cars with a whole bunch of different colors having to ignore those red spots in the back. Now with LED technology, you can have a car that has clear lenses on both the front and the rear. The colors that you find in headlights like clear, chrome, gray, black, those are all pretty neutral colors and they work with any color. You can now design a car with that in the back as well. Though it should be noted in some countries, you still have to have a red reflector so that if a headlight shines on it, their light reflecting back is red and you can tell that's the back of the car but that can be small further out of the way and it doesn't always have to be part of the tail light assembly itself either. So that being said, manufacturers, please stop covering your red LEDs with red plastic. You don't have to do that anymore. We have the opportunity now to use the least amount of red that's ever been in the rear light of a car ever since brake lights became standardized as red. Now with LEDs, you can have red only when it's needed. At the very least, give it a try as an option on some sports cars and see how it goes. And for those of you who aren't car designers or automotive executives that don't have a say in this sort of thing, my subscribe button doesn't have to be red either. Go ahead and click that button. Thanks for watching Car Simplified. I'll see you in the next video.